Hey, my name is Ben. Thanks for stopping by. Today we're working on the refrigerator and uh, hooking up the water lines to the back of it. So we're going to kind of show you uh, some of the basics for what might be required for that. Now, the type of water line that I have running to my refrigerator is going to contain RO water. And the water line itself is quarter inch PEX, which is 3 eighths outside diameter. So this is kind of what I would recommend uh, running to your refrigerator because uh, it's got a little bit more flow than something that is smaller. So remember 3 eighths outside diameter, which is quarter inch PEX. Now here, uh, this is uh, pretty common. Sometimes people will use copper. It's becoming less common, but it would be in this same size. So you can see right here, um, the size coming into this side right here, that is to slide over that quarter inch PEX or 3 eighths outside diameter. And right here on this side, we have the quarter inch outside diameter water line size. So you can kind of see the difference. So we're going to be adapting uh, to go to the refrigerator. Refrigerators generally have a quarter inch compression fitting right here. I have one. And this is what's on the bottom of the refrigerator. Let's go around the back and take a look. Oli, please close the fridge. All right, right down here, you can see we have our a fitting that is connect a connection point for our water line. Can I help do And this? after pulling this off here, this is the nut that we'll be using to attach our quarter inch copper water line to this. Now, if you have a quarter inch outside diameter uh, tube feeding your entire refrigerator and it's a plastic one, there's a couple of additional things you're going to need. So if your water line is, is plastic coming up and it's this size, then you're going to need a stiffener. So this pushes inside of that plastic tube, which this is not plastic here, obviously it's copper. And then you would use a plastic ferrule to go under your compression nut to connect that plastic water line to the back of your, your refrigerator. Uh, but I don't need this or this because I'm just using this little connector piece here, this little loop of copper to connect and then I'll be using this adapter that goes from 3 eighths outside diameter uh, to quarter inch outside diameter. Uh, so we'll put this together here now and show you what it looks like. Now coming up right here in the back, we don't have quite enough packs to make a nice loop. So we're going to add a little bit more water line so that this can loop up and have enough room to pull the refrigerator out a little ways when we need to slide it out. And we'll just go ahead and whack off this little bit of PEX here using just a, a tubing cutter. Link in the description to pipe and the tools you may need. And we just have this straight coupling here that we're going to use. And you want to make sure you get these pushed on good. There we go. And then we'll go ahead and connect this in here. So then that's connected onto there. Got our nice little loop going up. All right, here's our loop once again. And we're going to, and we're going to go ahead and slip our compression nut on here first. And then the ferrule. So that slides on there just like that. And we'll just go ahead and slip this adapter on here since we're at it at the moment. So we'll take our assembly here now, slip it up into that fitting, and tighten the nut down. Now we're going to want to double wrench this for sure. So what I mean by double wrench is you need to have a wrench on this top part as well as one on the bottom. In this case it's a half inch, which is pretty common. For this size. And we'll go about that far. You feel it here? And we're gonna connect this here now just by shoving it in. It will go right behind like so. Oh, maybe we'll go in front like this. You have to these good options. Okay. You can always disconnect these fittings by pushing on this top rim here and then pulling the tube out. 
We might use a couple zip ties here to tighten things up. Sorry for the noisemaker. All right, we're ready for the last step. We've got the water turned on. We checked for leaks, made sure that all of our fittings look good. And I should also say that you can uh, flush out your line before turning the water on to the refrigerator. Uh, this is a uh, reverse osmosis water and I had my lines taped off really well, so didn't have to do a whole lot of flushing, um, but you can do that. So that is ready there. And we'll go into the refrigerator here now, and make sure that we have water which we do. So that's working as it should. I'll show you down in the basement really quick uh, just what the reverse osmosis water lines look like and uh, my reverse osmosis system real quick. Here's my reverse osmosis water system. It has the booster pump. I'll link in the description to that if you're interested. Um, but basically we have our water that comes from the after my whole house water filter and that comes into these three stages of filters and it then goes up through the reverse osmosis membrane up there at the top it discards the wastewater and it pumps the reverse osmosis water down into this pressure tank here uh, now this blue line coming out goes up and connects on to feed my reverse osmosis water line. So I've got one that goes to the kitchen sink. I have a drinking water dispenser there. And this one goes to the refrigerator. So I just have these manifolded together here. So you can see how it's that smaller size plastic tube I was talking about. And that's what's feeding these. But I'll have less line loss using this quarter inch PEX rather than using that little tiny stuff all the way. So I'm going to get the ice maker configured. That's going to be specific to the model of your refrigerator. Uh, but that's pretty much it. That's how you connect the water line to your refrigerator. Not that big of a deal. Uh, if you have a reverse osmosis like I do, then you don't need to use the filter generally that comes with the refrigerator. So right now mine is in bypass and I plan to keep it that way. If you're to going to put uh, use your soft water or whatever through your refrigerator instead of having reverse osmosis then you're definitely going to want to use that filter inside of the refrigerator so thanks so much for watching and again check the description for any additional resources i think of and yeah thanks for hanging out and thanks for putting up with my little buddies here so we will talk to you in the next video bye have a bye bye sometimes she waves she found she found a sticker. Bye, bye. <laughs> she shakes her head. <laughs> All right. Talk to you in the next video. See ya.